Mornings with Madonna at the mansion on the hill. Wake up with our gorgeous Queen Madonna. Good morning to you. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Mornings with Madonna. Now that we are in a more easily accessible area, Cliffy Poo can contribute to the show. The, the, that last show was up too high, Grandma. I like this spot, and I'm good at floor plans, too. Yes, tomorrow is Floor Plan Friday, but today we are going to talk about the rare and original sculpture in the corner. But before we do, let's look at the shades on this chandelier. In 1906, Marette Carpenter took her daughter Olivia to Louis Comfort Tiffany's showroom in New York City, and they purchased lighting for the entire mansion. But then, just 16 years later, in 1922, Marette discarded much of the Tiffany lighting she had bought and replaced it with brighter, more stylish Murano crystal pieces. Oh, Grandma, can we do a show on the original Tiffany chandelier that we do have? That's a good idea, Cliffy Pooh. Next week, how about? Unfortunately, the original Tiffany chandelier that hung here was destroyed. It was cut apart and made into a number of desk lamps. Terrible! This replacement is not Tiffany, but Quazal, a competing art glass company formed by employees of Tiffany who struck out on their own and created a similar iridescent gold art glass. That's beautiful, Grandma. But it's so sad how all of the lighting in the mansion was lost over the years. Yes, Cliffy Poo. The mansion itself was nearly lost several times. But we need to be grateful to the sentimental and visionary individuals who elected to save the mansion and the valuable pieces associated with it. And that brings us to the marvelous statue behind you. You said it's the Greek god, Grandma. The Greek god Pan. That's it, Cliffy Poo. To the ancient Greeks, Pan was the notoriously ugly god of the outdoors and is half man, half goat, with horns and hooved feet. But to the sculptor of this statue, Frederick William McMoney's, Pan was a pretty boy. This statue is called the Pan of Rohalian, and it is a maquette, or a model, of the original statue at the mansion, which is called Rohalian in New Jersey. The original is larger and is built for a fountain, and that statue is now at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Pan of Rohalian catapulted the career of the American sculptor McMoney's. The sculptor's legacy lives on because the Pan of Rohalian statue was the inspiration for the Pan we all know today. It is Peter Pan, who was the eternal boy king of the wilds of Never Never Land. Grandma, you know everything about history. You make this mansion so interesting. Thank you, Cliffy. But it has taken many people over the years to save this mansion and its treasures. This 1890 statue is a Carpenter Mansion original and was donated by the descendants of the original owner. Thank you for your help here today. Now go in my purse, get a dollar, and treat yourself. And thank you all for watching. Please activate the like, and we will see you tomorrow for a very special Floor Plan Friday on Mornings with Madonna. Mornings with Madonna is 300 days. We'll be 300 ways to see 300 Clifton.